Hello everyone, good morning. Welcome to Amy Fajardo's channel. Today I'm gonna show you on how I'm gonna cook the Filipino dessert. We call it Bilo Bilo. One of my viewers on YouTube said to me, I am waiting for you to post it on YouTube on how to cook the uh, Bilo Bilo. And I said, uh, I will post it on YouTube as soon as I got some ingredients. And now here I am, I'm cooking the Bilo Bilo just for you. I just make it so easy and simple so it's easy for you to follow. I hope you will continue supporting my channel because she said to me she loves the Filipino food. Here are my ingredients for the tapioca fur. It's better for you to buy the one in a jar so that's ready to be mixed. This is for my tapioca. I cook it myself. It's one cup. But I think it's better for you to buy the one in a jar because this one is kind of hard to cook it. Cut the kumara into pieces like this. And also the... Uh, banana I defrost the um, banana before I slice it into pieces For the uh, coconut, I cut it into a strip. In a mixing bowl, put one pack of glutinous flour. Reserve at least one and a half tablespoon of the glutinous flour for thickening later. And then at least one tablespoon spread it on the plate make a wall in the middle and then put some water in there I've got one cup of water add the water into the flour slowly and make it the dough Keep mixing until you form a dough. Now I'm gonna use my hands to knead it. Keep kneading it until you get the right consistency of the uh, dough. to get a small piece of the dough and then form a small circle like a small ball and then roll it onto the uh, flour this is how I'm gonna make it and you keep doing that one until all the dough is been rolled into a circle
this is how it looks like when you finish. Set it aside. Cut the jackfruit into strip. Just like this. And so as the uh, coconut, this is how you're gonna cut it. In a pot, put two and a half cans of coconut cream and four cans of water. Reserve the uh, half cans of coconut cream for later. Turn the cooktop on into a medium heat and then bring this to boil and when it's boiling you can add the uh, kumara first. Let it boil and then when it's boiling you can add the uh, sugar one cup of sugar or it depends on your taste bud you can add some more or put it less you stir it and then taste it see if it is enough sugar for you And then add the uh, glutinous bowl, the one that you make. Make sure they don't stick it together. Add it slowly. Then add one tablespoon of vanilla essence and then stir it. Cover it and let it boil. And when it's boiling, you can add the uh, banana, all the rest of the ingredients. When you see the uh, glutinous bowl is uh, floating, 
that means it's already cooked just add everything in there stir it and then it's ready to serve put about two tablespoons of water into the reserved flour stir it and mix it together Cover it and let it boil and when it's boiling you can add the half can of uh, coconut cream. Now it's cooked, it's ready to serve. I wish you lived nearby so I can bring some for you. Enjoy your cooking and just let me know how it goes. You can add some taro roots also. Thank you for your support. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the like button and comment down below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Stay safe everyone. God bless us all. Thank you. Bye.